Hey YouTube, it's your homeboy, Seth Marshall Art Fitness. I am not feeling good this morning, but I'm here at work, sitting in the parking lot. Um, it is March, not March, but April 4th. Um, I just, you know, my symptoms that uh, I had this morning, um, I threw up twice this morning and then I had uh, diarrhea a few times I don't know if I have that word that I don't like to hear or don't like to talk people talk about it um, but you know I'm gonna see how long I can hold off on on being here today because this week is overtime pay i'm not trying to miss just on purpose but if i don't feel good i'm just going to try to just go home and get some rest um if i don't feel start feeling good later on and and i'll i'll just tell hilda my manager i was let her know say hey you know I'm not feeling good due to a lot of stress and I go home and no not nine out of ten uh, she lets me go home um, if I'm under a lot of stress um, but they don't really hold it against me because they know what I'm going through right now. I mean, that's understandable. Um, with um, my grandma, she had a stroke like um, through the beginning of this week. And um, she's home now, doing better and everything else. And I just... Um... I really just technically just don't want to be here today after what happened yesterday. Um, yesterday was kind of stupid. I got in trouble uh, for having my lunchbox in an area, which I've had it there for the longest time. And I, and I had it there for the longest time. And... I basically, <laughs> and, and it's the manager in that department, and the manager in that department, she's a bitch, and she does not like hardly anybody, and if you're not in her clique, and if she doesn't care too much for you, she'll try to do anything to get you in trouble for and stuff, and... It's like she is two faced, and it's like, and I, I told my manager, I said that lunchbox is not around anything. I argued with my manager on it. I said that lunchbox is not around anything, and I'm, I'm going to say this: this is bull crap. And I'm going to say, and I know some people that have open cans out there on the floor. I said Julie sometimes have open cans. Uh, if, which she's a worker and I can name all kinds of names you know that have open cans of energy drinks out on the floor and then everything and but yeah it's just uh I'm not really feeling good today but um I didn't get much sleep last night I mean I just tossed turn like I said um But yeah, it's just that a lot of people, um, I think they just want to see me go. I think they just want to see me quit. And, you know, because they know I'm not going anywhere with, with the job that I have. Um, they know that I don't mount anything there. Um, 
which, you know, it is true, you know, um, you know, I don't want to be there anymore, I mean, I don't want to, you know, be in rock bottom where, you know, where I do a job that I don't like, you know, every time when I, um, <laughs> Every time when I like a job um, in a department, they take me off of it, and they put somebody else in there, and they think they're the shits. And, like, the shits and all that in the bag of chips. And it's like, my work ain't good enough for them. I'm like, you know what? Screw you guys. And, you know, if you take me off a job, that just keeps pushing me out the door. And that's what, you know, how I see it. That's what they want me to do. They want me to walk out um, instead of just getting fired. And the way I look at it, if I get fired, unemployment. And, um... And that's the thing, but yeah, you can't live off of employment though. Um, you would have to get a job. Um, but I wouldn't really want to live off of unemployment. Unemployment sucks. <laughs> yeah, you have to call a man, you know, just to get your um, money and stuff. Last time, which was stupid, because they said, oh yeah, that I was approved. Then, then they turned around and sent me a letter saying I have to pay that. $179 that I spend back. I'm like, why? You know, it's like, I wasn't, I didn't put anything in there wrong on my info uh, when I called it and everything for that one time when I wasn't a full, full-time full employee here. I was only a temp. Temp means you're only a partial employee. You ain't really a full-time employee. Um, But, yeah, it is what it is. I keep telling myself it is what it is. You know, I just got to accept the fact that, you know, they just want me where I'm at, where I'm at a shitty job that I don't even care about. And, <laughs> which, I told my grandma, I said, I think I might just start looking for another one. And she's, she's like, why? I said, because I'm just tired of it being in the same department, you know, over four years, don't get, you know, get, don't really get to do anything else. And, um, so, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I probably could get another job if I really wanted to. I probably could get another job if I really wanted to. Because there's this guy. <laughs> there's this guy in Radio Shack um, that I know. If I really want to get another job, he's looking for somebody. All I have to do is ask him. But... <laughs> Only thing I don't know how to do is run cash registers, but hey, I can learn. Um, I know how to stock shelves and everything, so, um, <laughs> you know, a job is not hard to find. If I really want to get a different job, I can just go around asking. And, but if I did that, I'd have to deal with people all day, which, you know, that's fine, you know, I wouldn't care, but, um, I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, so like I said, <laughs> my allergies acting up this morning. I know that's what's making me sick. It's my allergies. Um, Missouri weather sucks. Um, because it never stays the same temp outside. Like, one minute it's like summer weather. And then, like, the next minute, then it's, like, cold weather. And 
And, that, and that's the thing. You know, I'm not trying to complain this morning. I'm trying to have a positive outlook. But I feel a negative this morning. And it's just like, I just want to get everything off my chest. Uh, I'm not really a negative person. I try not to be. But... You know, when you had a rough day yesterday, and um, just come to find out you had a friend try to commit suicide, which you found out who he was, and um, yeah, you know, you know, dealing with that, and uh, and uh, the part of it was is that it was like right next to my house at a church. And, and that's the thing. And I just wanted to get everything off my chest this morning and everything else. And I'm still the first one here in the park lot. Um, basically just minding my own business, doing my own thing. Um. I'm just going to start doing that now. And, you know, I'm a job. Just kind of just, you know, mind my own business. You know, just worry about myself. So worry about what other people are doing. Just of worry about how caring about them. But if you care about them, that's how they, you get respect. Um, but, you know, they can also turn around and stab you right in the back, too. Um... <laughs> But it is what it is, you know. And if I'm gonna stay, keep staying here, I'm just gonna be more stressed out, and I I don't really know what to do. I mean, I really don't have no backup backup job. Um, it's just that. I'm really not happy here anymore. It's like none of my old friends are here um, that I hang out with, that I used to hang out, that I liked hanging out because they always made me laugh. And then um, it was just the fact that <laughs> it's just the fact that I hate people. I hate jobs where you're, you know, you're never happy, you know. If you ain't happy at a job, it's like, why work there, you know. Um, that's how I see it. I'm not really happy with my job, but I need the money. So, um, and that's the thing. Um, I'm just, not like I said. I'm not really feeling good today. Um, that could be it too. Uh, and everything. And, and if they ask me <laughs> today, like, what's wrong with me, I'll just tell them. And um, I'll probably just go home early today if I'm not really feeling good. Um, But I don't know what it is. It's just stress. Stress and sinus combined. And it's all that mucus inside of me. And it released this morning. Because that's all I threw up the first time when I woke up about 3. And then I woke up, threw up two times this morning. And like I said, and I have the shits on top of it. <laughs> I still feel like I have to throw up right now. But I'm just going to hold it in until I get out on the floor there and start working. And I'm just going to throw up right there. And that way they can see me throwing up. That way they can't say, um, oh, you're just faking it just to go home. 
So, I already missed too much last month due to sickness, and I already missed two days this month. I said, I'm trying not to miss a whole lot anymore. Um, but if I'm not feeling good, I'm just not feeling good. So, I look at it this way. <laughs> I'm going to say, I look at it this way. If I'm not feeling good later on throughout the day, so that's it. I'm going home no matter what. I said, and that's what I'll tell them. And, and, and if they want to fire me over that, um, they can just fire me. And it's like I said, I try not to miss so much if I really, 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 literally have to. Um, but I do at least try to go in, you know, try to make the effort and everything else. But, So let them know that, hey, you know, I did try, you know, to come in and work. You know, and I just let them know that, you know, at least I tried to come in. But this week is holiday pay. I'm going to try to stay all day um, if I can. But as like I said, um, I always try to stay healthy um, no matter what. And, but like I said, I'm not trying to be negative this morning, <laughs> but I just had a lot get off of mind and everything, and I just don't know anymore. Um, I'm just tired, overly tired, uh, overly stressed. Um, I, I, it's like, I just don't know anymore. And... It was like, anymore I have that attitude, like, fuck it, you know, like, I don't care anymore, and, you know, if something happens, something happens, and, but, I know that's not me talking, that's just, um, uh, like I said, it's me not feeling good, um, if I'm not, like I said, if I'm not feeling good later on, I'll end up going home. Um, I don't care for this holiday pay or not. Um, but. Um, I'm just tired of everybody treating me like shit. Around there at my job. Um, they don't really respect me. They respect me some. To a certain extent. But when it comes to. Um. When it comes to my work, it's like they want me in the shithole job. So, everybody else makes more money than I do. And I found that out. And I went around asking because even though they're not supposed to do that, but I went around asking. Everybody makes more money than I do. And then if you would say something about it to them, then I'd be like, oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. They don't want to believe you. And they won't fix it. So it's like. You know. But in my department. In my department that I work in. <laughs> you. Only make minimum wage. You don't make. The quota. And I can. Like you do in the lines. Which I think is stupid. You know. I think inspectors ought to get paid the same thing, same amount as the sellers do, and everything else. Um, otherwise, they would have inspectors working for them. And then they wonder why inspect some of the inspectors out on the floor quit and walk out. Well, it's because, one, they don't get enough money. Two, they don't get the respect. Three, uh, um, they get verbal abuse. Um, it is what it is, and
Well, I'm going to call this video an end. I had said everything I had to say. I needed to get off here um, before everybody starts rolling in. Um, but I know this ain't, they ain't going to be rolling the head and they catch me riding dirty, catch me riding dirty. Music so loud is playing. But they ain't gonna be doing that. But <laughs> but it's just my job just drives me nuts anymore. I mean, I just don't know what what to tell people anymore when it comes to um, working. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm about done. You know, I. You know, after yesterday, they just kind of pushed my last buttons. And, and I was just like, you know, I come in every day. I do hard work when I am there. Um, I bust my ass off every day. And it's like, for what? Nothing. And it's like, and I don't even get appreciated for it. So... It's like, why have the, why, why go into a job that you don't like, you know? But, I'm here, try to make the best of it, and, um, stay, try to stay positive. Even though this has not been a positive video, always try to stay positive, no matter what. Um, this is, like I said, it's just a lot of stuff I needed to get off my chest this morning. So I said, I'm not feeling good this morning. And uh, and if I go home early, I won't get my holiday pay. But as I said, I'm calling this video an end. Made it too long. Um, people don't really care about my talk videos anyway. Um, so there you have it. Just putting it out there. Uh, most people just seem to care about my more short videos. So, there you have it. I don't know why I even make these tough videos. Getting off here. Peace. Subscribe. Hit the like. Hit the bell. Hit all the bell. And like I said, I'm just not feeling good today. And I'll see you next time.